Yo, you thinking about doing some custom packaging? Let's talk about it. Big Scythe. Fat Man Scoop, Brooklyn Clan. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching The Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. You taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you gotta do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there, and I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. Fat Man Scoop, Big Brando! Let's go! What's that, everybody? Boy, Big Brando, and today let's talk about custom packaging. This is a question I always get. People always want to know: Is it beneficial to use custom packaging? Should they invest in custom packaging? Now, a lot of times, why people ask this question is because a lot of their favorite brands use custom packaging. They understand brand identity, they understand the customer experience, and they want to set themselves aside from the rest of the brands out here just using plain poly mailers. So, for the sake of this video, I want to show you guys something. This is what the Marathon Clothing Company's packaging looks like when you order one of their All Money In t-shirts. It comes in a box that looks like this. Focus in, proud to pay. There goes the Marathon flag. Proud to pay. Marathon flag. All Money In logo on the top of the box. So before I get into opening up this box, Kind of want to explain what's going on here. So first things first is I support everything Los Angeles, especially if a brand is doing a lot for the city. I love to support things that come from the city. As you can see, I'm wearing a born and raised t-shirt right here. They're straight out of Los Angeles, Venice Beach to be exact. And you guys know I've been a big supporter of Nipsey and everything that he did for the city and everything his brother and family continue to do for the city. Now, I know a lot of you two people out there that are in the t-shirt space are always wearing their own t-shirts, their own hats, their own merch and all that stuff if you guys know me you know i wear whatever i want especially for the stuff that i actually support when you guys see me wearing brands from hawaii when you guys see me wearing born and raised when you guys see me wearing any other brand it's because i genuinely support these other brands and i like wearing the stuff so there's no exception now the reason i'm making this video is because i wanted to show how dope the packaging is when you order something from them they just re-released the all money in t-shirt and i needed to get another one because mine is all faded and old and i wanted a new fresh one and i wanted to re-up on the crenshaw t-shirts so i want to open this up i'm going to take the camera bring it to the other room, set it all up, try to get a bird's eye view so you can see exactly what's inside here, how they package everything up and how they deliver the stuff to you. So let's go check it out. All right, so check it out. This is what I wanna show you guys. This box right here, all money in. This is what the packaging looks like. Proud to pay. Proud to pay. The Marathon clothing flag on there. It's kind of like a spot varnish. And you got the logo on top. So as we open this thing up, 10% off discount code. T-shirts are inside of here in these like Ziploc bags. So we got the classic all money in T-shirt, hang tag, Here goes the t-shirt right here. There's the labeling on the inside. Hang tag. This print feels like, kind of like rubberized. It's not plastisol printed, it feels like rubber. Let's see if I can get some close-up action for you guys. All money in, back of the t-shirt. Marathon clothing on the back. Same exact thing, that like rubberized feeling. Marathon flag on the sleeve. Sewn in. This is the All Money In t-shirt right here. Now next one is Classic Crenshaw t-shirt. Same thing, comes in these Ziploc bags. I'm gonna move this box out the way. 
hang tag, marathon clothing, This feels like Plastisol print. This blank t-shirt, I'm not 100% sure what blank they're using. Feels heavy, doesn't feel lightweight whatsoever. Marathon woven tag on the bottom of the t-shirt on the hem. Here goes what the inside tag looks like. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Hang tag, sleeve hit, once again, woven tag on the sleeve. Screen print on the front and screen print on the back. This one doesn't feel like rubber. This one feels like Plastisol print. Two color hit. The packaging on this thing, crazy. Here goes the All Money In shirt. Once again, with that rubberized texture, not exactly sure what it is. Feels like rubber though. Let me see if I get some side view action. It's on the front and then on the back. This is also that rubberized material. Packaging is super clean. T-shirts are both size 2X. Crenshaw t-shirt and the All Money In t-shirt. All right, there you have it. Unboxed, showing you everything that I purchased from there, what it looks like when you get it in the mail. Obviously, this box is inside of a bigger cardboard box so it doesn't get all damaged up through shipping. But then this black box is inside of that cardboard box and the contents are exactly what you've seen inside there. When it comes to custom packaging, this is done the correct way. Now, when we're talking about startup brands that are just getting started, is custom packaging necessary? To me, I don't think it is because there's really big brands out there, Undefeated, Supreme, they ship their stuff just in poly mailers and it's not done necessarily in custom box or custom wrapping or custom poly mailers. It's just in a plain poly mailer. So is it needed? It's not really needed. Is it a nice to have? Yes, it is. For the customer experience, I really appreciate this right here. Now let's talk about some of the brands that I run. For two of the brands, I just use regular straight poly mailers. If I can only find the white ones, I buy the white ones. If I find black ones on Amazon, I buy the black ones. Now you guys know when I was running leftovers, I did custom packaging for the leftovers. I had that clamshell box. I used rubber stamps to brand those boxes. And that's how I shipped the stuff out because I was trying to ship all the shirts into go containers like the styrofoam ones. But in my testing, the styrofoam container got all banged up through shipping. So I ended up finding those clamshell boxes, which were not too expensive, but still kind of pricey for what it was. And it was cool. Would I do it again? Probably not. But if I were to go the full custom route, it would be mirrored something very, very close to what they're doing at the Marathon Clothing Company is paying attention to the details. That spot varnish little flag, clean touch. The branding is minimal, but very, very clean. That box is very sturdy. They're doing it right. So as a startup, I wouldn't really, really focus too much on that. You could get custom poly mailers done. I think you could order them by like the 500 or 1000 and you could get them custom printed. That's a simple Google search of custom poly mailers and a bunch of stuff will pop up for you. You could go the cheap route. What I used to do is get a rubber stamp made. You could get like a big three by five rubber stamp made and then just boom, with your logo on it, stamp the box, stamp the poly mailer. Then you got custom packaging. Or when I was running the churro brand, what I was doing was just slapping the churro sticker on the box or on the poly mailer. It gives it that extra touch. You don't have to go full custom like this but as your business grows then you can entertain ideas like this but when you're just starting out you don't got to go that hard obviously you want the customer experience to be something very special and i get that but at the end of the day you got to remember the people are paying for the product and not for the packaging so if somebody's seen your t-shirt on instagram and they wanted to buy it they're not buying it because you come with cool packaging they're buying that cool shirt that they seen on instagram but on the other end of the spectrum you got brands like johnny cupcakes who really pays attention to their packaging and really enjoys the customer experience. So they pay attention to the small details, right? 
You could tell by his storefronts. You could tell how he ships out his stuff. He throws in little trinkets and little gifts and stuff like that. The store smells like a bakery. Everything is built around the theme of his brand, which is crazy dope to me. But you gotta remember as a startup brand, where are you gonna focus your energy? Are you gonna focus it in packaging or are you gonna focus it onto your t-shirt designs? To me, I would focus more on the t-shirt designs. And as the business grows, then you start to entertain the custom packaging and stuff like that. Out the gate, a lot of people want to do everything all at once. And to me, when you spread yourself thin, everything doesn't get the right amount of energy that it needs. So if you're thinking about custom packaging, I wanted to show an example of what an established brand custom packaging looks like. But for a startup, do whatever fits your budget. If you have to buy poly mailers on Amazon, that's where I buy mine from. You could get like a hundred for like nine bucks or something like that. Easy call. And if you got plain black ones, get some stickers made and just slap the stickers on there. If you get the white ones, get a rubber stamp, stamp that poly mailer or use stickers also. It'll be custom enough for now. And like I said, as the business grows, then you start to entertain custom packaging and exploring those options, all right? Hopefully this video helps somebody out. Hopefully if nobody's ever unboxed something like this on YouTube, hopefully this shines some light on it. And if you've been sleep under a rock, check out the Marathon Clothing Instagram page, storefront, whatever you wanted to do, check out the merch and support. For myself, I will always support what Nipsey started to build. I've been buying his Crenshaw t-shirts before they had the Marathon store, when it was just the other store when they were selling blank pro clubs out of there. Always have, always will support Los Angeles based brands, especially when they're doing good stuff for the city, all right? If you guys got any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, BigBrandoTV. Catch you guys on the next one, man, yeah.